Hey guys, on today's episode, we're gonna do a handling project. I know I promised to uh, paint my car, but this came up. I was driving one day, and suddenly I got this error message. And soon after, I got to know that my tire was punctured. To be exact, the rear left tire. The thing is, those four tires I got together with the rim, if you can see on my previous videos, are not according to the specs that I want. They are one spec thicker. So I had no choice to buy all four tires. And coincidentally, my caster arm is going kaput together with my absorber limb. So I thought, what the heck, might as well I do a complete upgrade on my suspension. So on this episode, I'm going to buy all four new tires, a new caster arm, new absorber link. I would like to upgrade my absorber to a performance absorber and also a performance spring. So first, the tires. I don't have time to go uh, window shopping and all, so I had to look it up in Moda and I found one shop in Bukit Jurutong is selling is selling the performance tire that I want 18 inch 265 35 and that tire is Pirelli Cinturato P7 uh, it's made in 2019 which is still okay and they sell it for 300 limit per tire so I'm gonna go there and buy two tires for my rear tires Next, I had to search in Mudah again for the front tire. I want 18 inch, 235, and 40. And I saw a shop in Smene is selling the exact spec that I want, which is again Pirelli Dragon S. They're selling it for 360 per tire. So I'm gonna go there, pick it up. Ideally, we want to collect all of the parts that I want to install and install in one go but I can't do that because my tire is already punctured so I have no choice but to replace the tires now There's a group member who's selling off his car and his car is already been souped up and what they normally do is before they sell their car they sell all of their cool parts change it to standard and sell it off so all of the cool parts have been sold off within the club members so I booked myself a Bilstein B8 2020 absorber which is still good and an AMG coin so I guess I have all the stuff that I wanted so he left his car at AAZ, so I'm going there to pick up the stuffs. Oh, nice. Bistin B8 absorbers, Ori AMG coils. For the caster arm and absorber link, I'm going to buy brand new at King Hap Chong. Now that we have all of the parts, so only one mechanic that I trust to install them.
if you remember on my previous episodes, I did a full coverage on this place why people come from all over the place to do only balancing and alignment. I won't be doing a full coverage this time, you can check my previous episode up here. And this will be my final touch for the handling project. Now that we have all of the parts installed, coincidentally, next week, I'm heading off to Pulau Pekhentian, so I decided to drive. Uh, therefore, I will have 1,200 kilometers to and fro to test, to adapt, and hopefully to do an honest review on the performance of this new machine. The first thing notable about the car is that it looks like it's lowered by a few inches, so that itself increase the aesthetic value of the car now let's do a test the finger test okay I can barely put two fingers here on the front arch wheel and at the back let's say two and a half fingers that's why it's imperative to have the correct specs for your tires in accordance to AMG because I'm using AMG rim and their spring imagine if I had upgraded the springs when I had the previous tires which is one size thicker the gap might not have been acceptable and it could have caused me problems but speaking of that I want to know whether the tires will hit the fenders especially the rear tires because it's now one size wider there's only one way to know let's go for a spin I'm going about 20 kilometers per hour and I'm gonna hit that speed bump and see what happens nope nope the tire didn't touch the fender the best part when we do fixes or replacements let alone upgrades on anything pertaining to handling is that you can feel the impact immediately <laughs> so you, you can imagine how I'm feeling right now I'm not sure whether my facial expression shows how happy I am right now because I'm tired and it's already past midnight <laughs> but inside I'm feeling aesthetic the next test is to see what difference does it make on a highway Previously, before the upgrades, I wouldn't drive more than 10 seconds above 160 km per hour because I didn't feel safe. The rear suspensions were so soft that if I drove fast, I felt like the car would just give away anytime. I'm not comparing this to the standard spec of this car, but I'm comparing it to my own car because I don't know when was the last time the previous owner changed it. So yeah, it was sad. I didn't do much of high-speed driving in the last few years. But now, with these new settings, with all these upgrades, I've been driving <laughs> all the way uh, within 180 to 200 kilometers per hour, and I felt safe. I felt like the car, the tires, and everything, it's hugging the road like a magnet. And on slight turns, I'm not even taking off the pedal not even a bit. I'm pressing it all the way. I could actually go faster, but considering this is the first time that I'm using this road, one. Secondly, because I'm bringing my daughter. And number three, this is a two-lane highway. Uh, I'm afraid that there might be any road works in front or any cars changing lanes. I might not be able to react because uh, the braking systems is still standard. And also for the last few hours, no one has been overtaking me which gives me an impression that oh maybe we're not supposed to drive this fast at this highway i don't know well my point is that previously the suspensions couldn't cater the power of this car now i'm feeling that the power of this car couldn't cater with the new suspensions of this car the next test is on the corners we're passing the things apart from Quanta to kl and this is a perfect to test it 
it, it is a I, I must admit it's a huge improvement from what I had previously every corners I take the car hugs the corners I don't feel like it's gonna spin but unfortunately I couldn't test it to the limit one I'm still not used to it it's at night and I'm tired probably more experienced drivers or racers could actually test it to the limit but anyhow for normal drivers like us this is a fast improvement a bit of comfort but what I gained is so much more I've increased my safety I've increased uh, the confidence and also I've increased the performance so here's the cost of this project 2,900 ringgit for the used absorbers and springs 1,360 ringgit for all four new tires 856 ringgit for the custom arm and absorber links 80 ringgit for installing the tires, 175 ringgit for uh, alignments and on wheel balancing, an undisclosed amount to one for installing all the stuffs, and the total cost is 5,791 ringgit. This is by far the best project that I've ever done. In fact, it's better than the body kit project. I guess that's all for today. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Go share with your friends and I'll see you on the next episode.